Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for the week beginning Sunday, February 11th, 2024, and ending Friday, uh, February 16th. <clears throat> this is already going to be Options Expiration Week in February, uh, believe it or not, so be prepared for that. And of course, we have a short month. Also, next weekend is a three-day weekend, the 19th, Monday, the 19th, President's Day holiday. So... Next Friday is options expiration leading into a long weekend. You can just expect that Friday will be a bust at a minimum. Uh, won't be much to do. Maybe we get some level of options unraveling move on Wednesday. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Dead flat for five days, so nothing this week. Still middle of the range for the last year. Here's the euro dollar, which made it from that 13 cell signal basically down to the red static trend line, which is the target when you get those signals. So that one worked perfectly. Um, but not much action this week. Here's the pound dollar. Also, just this thing's been flat now. I mean, the 300 pip range since before Thanksgiving. That is, uh, that is horrible. It did do a 13 cell signal uh, the other week and uh, dipped a little bit, but hasn't gone down much. Here's the ES from a futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad stock market in futures form. New all time highs for the stock market. All time, all time. Everything's on a tear. Uh, here's a look at the S&P cash. Obviously, also at all-time highs, 5,026. So the better close is over 5,000. Heading towards another 13 seeker signal, potentially. We're only, we're only a six up in this particular case. Um, seven, no, six up. We could get a recycle, though, on this one. So we'll see what happens. Uh, NASDAQ 100 also at new all-time highs. Um, wow, this is just, just what, an, what an economy. Uh, Russell 2000 up. Big on Thursday and Friday. Uh, not at all-time highs like the others, but uh, it's still up uh, and near highs. Um, Bitcoin just got a secret 13 sell signal here on Friday, um, but we're sitting up at 47,000 approach. Got almost all the way back up to 50,000 on the Bitcoin. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, didn't do much this week. Uh, the VIX closes at 12.93. Super low, no volatility out there. That's a problem for us. Advanced decline ratio was back and forth this week, although mostly positive, except for I think it's Tuesday. Uh, the trend closes at 1.09. I'm sorry, at 2.01, puts the 10 day moving average at 1.09, which is nowhere near a sell signal on the. Uh, we got to get under that blue line with the orange number to get the sell signal on the broad market. Here's the ES in 10 minute candles, so you can see the whole week. Um, you know, Monday we uh, moved down and came back and closed just under where we opened. Tuesday was as flat as possible. Wednesday we gapped up, pushed a little higher than just dead flat for uh, the last five and a half hours of the day and continued that into Thursday, which was probably one of the narrowest days I can recall uh, in the last year or so. Look at that, how horrible that was. And then Friday, a slight gap up and just kind of a drift higher. NASDAQ 100 looks about the same. So a lot of program trading going on when they look that similar, obviously. Apple, um, not at all-time highs. No signals, no chart patterns. Amazon is at all-time highs. Why not? Uh, Meta is uh, sitting at near all-time highs anyways. One of the highest closes uh, this week. Uh, Google um, also near all-time highs coming back from that gap down on the earnings. Uh, Goldman Sachs has just been so flat. Lately. That's a daily chart. Goldman does nothing for two months. Uh, Netflix also flat here, but near all-time highs. Tesla uh, recovered a bit this week after pressing lows on uh, Monday. Uh, for the year, NVIDIA uh, at all-time highs, because why not? Zoom closes uh, up, and for her solar also closes up. So, um, you know, that's it. That's the uh, that's the current action in the market. Uh, in terms of economic data coming out this week, we have, here in the U.S., uh, the federal budget balance at 2 p.m. Eastern time on uh, Monday. That's it. China's on bank holiday. Tuesday... Um, China's on bank holiday for three days, at least. Four days, it looks like the whole week China's on holiday. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, the UK uh, unemployment rate Tuesday going into Tuesday here. Core CPI, big number, obviously, with all the inflation stuff. We have to watch. That's at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Uh, then the CPI out of uh, and all the inflationary numbers out of the UK that night going into Wednesday. Uh, we've got the GDP number out of Europe at 5 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning. Uh, crude oil inventory is at 10.30 here uh, in the U.S. 
the Fed member speaking. That's it. So, so far, the, that CPI, we really have no data for the week. Then you get into the uh, goods trade balance, preliminary GDP um, at uh, from the UK at 2 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Uh, U.S.-wise, we've got the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers at 8.30. Empire State Manufacturing Index, retail sales, Philly Fed, import export prices at 9.15. We've got capacity utilization, industrial production. 10 a.m., we've got business inventories and the NAHB housing market index. And at 10.30, we've got Natty Gas along with tick long-term purchases at 4 p.m. And then on Friday, we've got the PPI at 8.30, along with housing starts and building permits and the preliminary University of Michigan sentiment number. Um, but again, big big story will be options expiration on Friday and leading into a three-day weekend, so I'm not expecting too much that. Charts as usual brought to you by NinjaTrader. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week and hope to see you in our Discord trading lab.